Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl Dazzle Me 77 and I am back with another video. So first of all, I'd like to say welcome back to all of my subscribers. To those of you that are new, welcome. I hope you find my channel interesting. I hope you find that you can connect and relate to my content. So as the title said, this is going to be a what's in my bag on this beautiful bag right here and also a perfume reveal. So let's get into it. So this cutie right here, I was so, so super excited to get her. Um, she was actually prettier than what I thought she was going to be. Just absolutely gorgeous. Now y'all, I'm playing with my light um, because I prefer natural light. I have my blinds closed in here um, and my ring light on, but I'm gonna try to see if it looks better. If I open my blinds back up. So I like to give y'all the real deal on a lot of stuff. And I'm looking at the camera as I'm doing this to see what actually looks better. Um, because sometimes the ring light just doesn't do it justice. Okay, we'll work with that. I like natural light personally. And so I like to make sure that when you guys are looking at my purse reveals, that I'm showing you exactly what it looks like. Because how many times have you purchased a bag and you see it online and you get it and you're like, that is not what I wanted. So I just wanted to make sure y'all got the true color of this bag. So this is the front of the bag. I am going to turn the light on now since you all have looked at it. This is the front of the bag and she has silver hardware. Um, I have my Bath and Body Works pocket bag right here. My favorite in the stars. This puff is thebomb.com. I've been waiting for the perfect opportunity to use this puff and I think this bag is perfect, y'all. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's cute. And then on the side, I have some little jewelry. And y'all know I'm always one for that side of your bag that everybody sees like behind you instead of just in front of you. This is actually an ankle bracelet that Robin Cookie sent me. So if y'all haven't checked out her channel, please check out her channel. She has some great things going on. Love her content. And she is currently in the process of redecorating. So I, I can't wait to see that. But I just thought that added just a really pretty flair to the bag on the side. Um, this is the back of the bag. It does have a pocket. Um, I use my cell phone sticking straight up in it so it works for me. And then this is the other side of the bag. Now, this is a... It's not a small bag, but it's not a medium-sized bag. I would say it's a medium. <laughs> my husband loves using that word medium when something isn't small, but it's not big. It's a medium, so that's what this is. Um, and as you can see, it has coach written on the zipper pull. Real good zipper. All the hardware on the bag is like this, like a hinge socket with the loop. It has coach written on there. You see that? So on the outside of this, I have a Walmart receipt that I need to keep because I got to take something back. I have my Blistex. I'm still wearing mask. And I have my little Dior Addict in there. Okay. So let's get on the inside of this bag. So I know you guys see this little gold piece sticking out. So the funny thing is, is most of my bags, although I wear silver all the time and white gold, most of my bags have silver or white gold, but most of my accessories have gold. So I told my husband I was switching over to the gold Pandora. <laughs> he just looked at me with his eyes stretched because y'all know it's a huge difference. I was just playing with him, but I wanted to see what he was going to say. So inside of here, I have this wallet right here. 
Y'all know this is one of my favorite wallets. Um, I will show you the tag, but I'm not going to open the inside because I have some stuff in it. But this is the information on this. Love this bag. Very roomy. Has lots of room for change. I need to update my change in here. I was too lazy to walk somewhere yesterday, so I had to use my change to get stuff out of the store. Um, but you see here you have one, two, three, really three card slots, but this last pocket is really, really deep. Then you have a slot back there, a slot here, and a slot here. And as you can see, I have them triple. Just a very nice, compact wallet. Um, you can't go wrong with this wallet. You just can't go wrong. So this is what she's looking like on the inside. I love it. She is one of those bags that is short, sweet, and to the point. Now, because she was so small, I did have to admit some of my um, pouches. So I use my zipper pouch as a pouch. Um, this is the information on this bag. This is the um, Casey satchel. And she did not cost that much. I want to say she's still like 150s online. But she's very much so worth it. I have another one like this, but it's a different type of satchel. It's the Prairie satchel. And they hold about the same amount. So in here, I just have all of the different candies that I had in that um, leopard pouch that Miss Robin Cookie gave me. Um, so I use that as a pouch. And I'm going to take everything out because I am switching bags. So y'all know I have my piggy butt, my earring bags, my tape measure. All right. And so that's all that's in that pocket. I'm going to put that back. And so let's go to the side. So on the side right here, because it has that loop, I just loop my ear pods on there. I did not use my normal case in here because this would have took up too much room in the bag. It just would have took up too much room. So I decided not to do that. So I just have it clipped on here. That way when I need it, I just come here open and keep it moving. I'm going to take these off as well. And I got this case from Burlington. I think it's so pretty because it kind of goes with everything. You know what I mean? All right. So this is what we have. I have my silver pen with the glitter. Um, this pen writes really, really good. I got it from Amazon. Because I don't think Burlington is ever going to stop back up on those pens that I like. Um, I did do the fresh getaway. This smells so, so good. It is a summer scent, but I normally, if I like something, I carry it whenever I wear it and carry it whenever I want to. I'm not one of those people that's so into, oh, that's summer, that's fall. If I like it, I'm going to wear it. Um, here's my charger. It is bling-tastic. I love it. I think I need to put it on the charger. Let's see. No, I still got my three bars. And I've charged my phone twice off of this. Charge relatively quick, too. So, I have my wet ones. Of course, they were upside down to prevent leaking. And now we're getting into what I added as accessories to complement. Now, y'all know... Y'all know Dazzle loves this bag right here. This is my Ruby and Cash bag. I think this by far is my favorite, favorite, favorite pouch ever. And it was like $2 and some change. So it goes to show price don't really mean a thing. This is my favorite pouch in my collection. I just like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. I just like this pouch. And I started to buy some extra ones in case something happened to this one. I was like, you be an extra dazzle. But I thought it went really good with the snake print that was on the bag already. Although they're kind of different colors. This is more gray and this one's more white. I just thought that looks so good together. All right, and the next thing, I have my Nolita 19 in the signature 
um, embossed canvas in black and you see it's gold and silver but it's inside of my bag so it don't matter um same stuff i always have but because i couldn't do my little pull pouch i just made sure that my lip gloss was on top and you notice i have my lip balm on the outside also in here i have the small one that matches this the wristlet and this is my pandemic pouch so I just have um, Clorox wipes an extra disposable mask a reusable mask and some wet ones so sometimes I just grab this in my um, phone if I'm going in the store because that's all I need really I'm loving doing Apple pay how many of y'all do that I like it at first I was skeptical but I like it um, I just have my Gucci pouch, little satchel in here. Has my water pouches, my water packs in here. I like that. Um, of course, I have my contact lens case that has rewetting jobs, eye jobs, dryness jobs, a case, and a pair of contacts in there. And then last but not least, um, this is my MCM pouch. Um, this came with my first MCM purchase, which was the Cognac Bliss Tote. Um, it was a free gift, and so I got it um, last year for my birthday. This pouch is amazing. It does have the gold hardware with the clip and the ring, but I didn't want to put anything on it. So I just added this butterfly with the pearl and the little beads on it. So I could just carry it if I needed to. This is the information card on this pouch. I don't think you can find it because like I said, it was given as an offer. Inside here, I just have all of my keys. Um, and you see it has MCM. I have my key, my husband's truck key, then I have my house keys and my gym um, locker key. So that is what is on there. So that's one reason I pulled the black, but also from there. So let's set this up. And I'm going to have this in the background while I'm talking about my next topic. So y'all, I am also into fragrances. I love a good fragrance. Um, I love Bath and Body, but I am finding as I get a little bit more money conscious about things, I love Bath and Body Works, but I will be shopping them only when it's sale time because Bath and Body is pretty expensive if you get the whole set. Um, I realized for me um, what I need because there was a time like I had so much Bath and Body and none of it matched. I would have like tons of lotion, no body wash, a whole bunch of sprays, no no lotion. And so I finally figured out the right mix for me is two lotions, one um, body gel, and one mist. I don't need a lot of the mist. It takes me forever to go through the body mist. So I usually don't purchase a whole bunch of that. Um... So I've just been kind of investing more into my, oh, that's pretty, y'all. Uh, I've been investing a little bit more into my perfumes. And so what I'm about to do, some people may not agree with it, but that's how Dazzle rolls. Because I'm a firm believer that sometimes I think people judge you financially by what you spend your money on. I'm kind of the opposite. I think people that are really cognizant of their money, are cognizant of all the things they spend their money on. And so everybody invests differently. And um, I'm going to get off my soapbox on that. But anyway, I'm tight with my money. So I love the Baccarat Rouge 540. I love it. When I tell you I love it, I love it. I've heard so much about Baccarat Rouge 540 that I was like, okay, I'm going to invest. But then I saw how much it cost, and I was like, eh, slow your roll, girl. So I have never, prior to last year, owned any luxury fragrances. And when I say that, um, I say that I own Jador, Jador Pleasures, 
Um, I own a lot of different fragrances, and y'all have seen my fragrance will, um, will before, but I've never spent over $160 on a perfume. So before I wanted to invest in the Baccarat Rouge, I said, let me try the dossier. I've heard a lot of people talk about it, and I heard a lot of people say good things about it, so let me try it. So I tried it. It smells so good. And this is the smell that will give you Baccarat Rouge 540. This is the Ambry Saffron. The thing that I like about this is that it tells you the notes that you like. I mean, it tells you the notes that are in there. So it basically tells you if you're looking for something similar, look for these scents, right? So I tried this. And as y'all can see, this is like my third bottle of this. Now, I will say with this, um, I usually work 10 to 11 hour days. I usually will have to reapply maybe six or seven hours in, but it lasts for a long time. It To me, it lasts for a long time. I'm not a person that can spray perfume on my skin because I break out all the time. I tried it recently and I broke out really, really bad. I can't spray fragrances on my skin, so it has to go on my clothes a lot of the time. So this worked really good. So, you know, after I tried it, I was like, okay, now's the time to order the big boys. So I went ahead and ordered um, the Macy's Francis Carcajan, the Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, this is the, let's see what size this is. So here are the boxes, which is going to lead to another story. Let me adjust my camera just a little bit. So I did get it in the 1.2 ounce. Beautiful packaging, um, absolutely gorgeous. Shipping was quick, um, and I ordered directly from them because I don't have any luxury luxury fragrance like this retailers near me. So I mean, it it was gorgeous when it came. Okay, it was gorgeous, and when I tell y'all, every time I wear this scent. Every time I wear this scent, somebody says something, I'm telling you, somebody says something. So this is one of my signature scents. Now, as you can tell, I've used a lot. Now, the problem is it smells wonderful, but this right here does not last on me. I don't know what it is. Um, and this is what I did get, the Ida Perfume. I don't know if I need to try something different. If y'all know, tell me. But it doesn't last long on me. And I really prefer the Dossier when it comes to that. Because this probably lasts on me like an hour or two hours. And for 200 and almost 60 something dollars after tax, no ma'am. <laughs> No, ma'am, I need you to last a little bit longer. So that's what I talk about when I was speaking of how people spend money. I would much rather prefer to get this bottle for $55 that's going to last on me versus paying $260 on that and it's not going to last. So I, when I first got it, I was like, well, let me get the lotion because maybe... The lotion with the perfume it's gonna layer it's gonna last longer it didn't help it smells good i love it um and i can wear scented lotions on my skin oh my god it smells so good my husband loves this on me so it smells good this is the lotion it was like 80 bucks i think it was um it was a splurge um, but I, like I told you guys, I do give myself a luxury budget every year. And so that was the thing. So I know you're like, Dazzle, where are you going with this? So last night I went to Ulta and because I researched just about everything I purchased, I heard that the Ariana Grande Cloud smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Oh my gosh, y'all, it does. It does. It's not an exact hit, but it does smell just like it. 
And I would say for 60 something dollars, um, I did get the medium size one. I didn't get the bigger one. So this is the 1.7. It's not the smallest, it's not the biggest. Um, and it has this cute little cloud and it's like this. So I know I'm late to the game on this, but I like to share because there's other people like me that's always late to the game. But I wanted to share this, y'all, because um, I love fragrances and I always like to know how people pick their fragrances. Um, but this is my thing. Um, but I really love that Dossier allows you to try um, the perfume, if you don't like it, you can send it back and try something different. I also love this card because when I read other perfumes, I can look for these to know exactly what I like. So that brings me to my next thing for today. I don't know if y'all saw my community post, but y'all, your girl mm -hmm. is got, I have to get better with keeping boxes. Like I'm going through my collection today and I'm getting rid of all these boxes, these two. I was keeping them at first for like decor, but I don't like clutter. If you come to my house, you'll see a lot of natural light, a lot of grays, a lot of whites, a lot of blacks and plants. I like clean spaces. I don't like a lot of clutter. And so now my boxes are starting to look like clutter versus decoration. And I ain't feeling it. So I'm going to get rid of some of those boxes. I challenge you guys to do the same. Um, we're going into 2023. I don't make New Year's resolutions. But this is one thing I am doing before the new year gets here. I'm trying to clean my house of clutter because I want this to be a place where I can breathe. So that is my video. I think I have one more video coming for you guys before the end of 2022. I hope this video has reached you all in good health and in good spirits. I hope you all have had a wonderful week. And once again, I thank you so much for your continued support. So remember, be good to others, but be even better to yourself because we cannot pour from an empty cup. Bye-bye.